I don't know why the left feels like Americans are just a colony of bees and we're just going to believe everything the left says just because they're liberals. You know what I mean? And I also don't know why they think that Americans are going to sit by and watch the liberals indoctrinate our children in school. I got a video for you guys of a teacher pushing critical race theory concepts on her students and trying to force the left agenda, literally, from her own words, trying to stretch the brain of her students so that they may think like she does and the rest of her liberal uh, allies. But if this is your first time here, guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button so that way you get notified every time I make a video. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Can we say white have power over black, please? Yeah. Okay, thanks. And we don't even have to pretend that it was during slavery times. Because if we were really just saying during slavery times, we wouldn't have mass riots even happening today, right this minute, because of another black person being shot unwarranted by police without even question. Because, you know, I thought that was the taser. Oops. Guys, you know, when I see these videos of teachers spreading critical race theory to their students and they're having these political conversations during class, I'm starting to think that these teachers, they get some kind of internal satisfaction when they do it. You know, I don't think they're doing it to, excuse me, to try to pick at the parents who there's plenty of parents who have openly spoken out against critical race theory. But I don't think they're doing the teachers are doing it to 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 defy the parents or defy normal society. I think that these teachers they really believe in this critical race theory rhetoric. A lot of this critical race theory rhetoric is born out of white guilt. And you got a lot of teachers who believe that way. And and, and they feel like they're doing a public service by helping students become anti-racist, anti-society, anti-normal. That's, that's, I feel like that's, there's some internal satisfaction when these teachers do it, you know? And that's why they continue to, 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 to spread this message of white privilege, white superiority, and black natural inferiority. Because they want people, the, these students, to carry on the rhetoric. They want to convert these students, right? And they want to have these students come back to class, back to class, day in, day out, hearing the same message of white privilege, slavery, black oppression, white privilege and black oppression, so that that way these students can be the future of the leftist movement. And I feel like these teachers, they, they really, they, they understand what they're doing because they, like I said, they'll never convince me. They'll never convince people who are older because we're pretty much set in our beliefs and our ways, but the children, their minds are still malleable. And nine times out of 10 guys, when you speak to someone who's been to college or you speak to someone who is in high school, nine times out of 10, they're going to be liberal or they're going to start talking liberal because that's what they've been taught throughout high school and throughout their public education in college. So it takes two parents in a household for one, and it also takes parent involvement in their students or in their children's lives because these teachers do not have the students' best interest when they teach them critical race theory concepts. So we still have the binary of white have privilege over blacks. Okay. I, I know you're like my toughest class because I, I don't know how to read you guys. So she's saying when she, the teacher is saying, I don't know how to read the class. She's really saying, I can't tell if every student that's sitting in that classroom right now is buying into the critical race theory message. I can't tell if I'm if 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 indoctrinating you is working. Usually I can tell that my indoctrination efforts are working, but this class is a little bit difficult. Maybe because these, these kids have two parents in their life, and they're raised off of uh, conservative values, so they don't believe in the, into the crap. 
I really don't. All my other classes, I know, I know how to read some of you. I don't know how to read all of you. And that's really frustrating as a okay. When I say the critical theories is where, where things get used. Yeah, I just want to point this out real quick. Notice when the teacher said, when I say the critical theories, critical theories, did she mean to say critical race theory? Because see, a lot of teachers are getting backlash for that. So they're now they're trying to dress it up. Joy Reid's done that as well. You know what I mean? They, they try to say that critical race theory isn't being taught in schools. You know what I mean? They try to call, I can't think of the acronym right off the top of my head. You guys let me know in the comment section box below, but they, they call the critical race theory something else to try to disguise the rhetoric so that way it seems more appropriate to teach to children. But any type of language of anti-society, anti-racist, anything that references white privilege or black oppression or anything that talks about innocent little black boys getting shot by white police officers, that's all in the realm of critical race theory. Because it is. You can't tiptoe around this stuff. I am trying to stretch your brains in some uncomfortable ways to help you see that there are a lot of. And pretty much, guys, she just goes on talking about, guys, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to force my agenda on you. That's pretty much what she's saying. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below if you guys want to finish the rest of the video. Guys, I wish that policies were passed to prevent these teachers from having these type of conversations with students. I feel like teachers should only be talking about the subjects that they were hired to teach. Be involved in your child's education. Be involved in your child's uh, career in school because you need to go and figure out what these teachers are about. Go to every PTA meeting. Now it's very serious. There, there has been a lot more participation in school board meetings and PTA meetings since the expans expansion of the critical race theory uh, uh, situation. So, guys, that's what you have to do now. I mean, you have to really interview these teachers and see what they're about. And I feel like they should pass a policy for every time a teacher is caught having these critical race theory conversations with kids, every time one of these cell phone footages come out of these teachers going off about LGBT or Black Lives Matter, they should be fired on the spot. I mean, I feel like school is not a place for politics. And even if you want to have a conversation about politics, why can't you have it off record? Why does it have to be during the hours of school? Why can't you have a time where it's after school or, you know, maybe something that you guys do on the weekends or something where it's just people who believe in that concept of white privilege and critical race theory. But no, you heard the teacher. She said, I'm trying to stretch your brains. I can't read you guys. I can't decide if you guys are conservative or liberal, if you guys are buying into this critical race theory or not. I can't read you guys, but I'm trying to stretch your brains to get you to think like how I do, me and my people, the liberals do. And that's wrong, guys. That's wrong. And I think most people with a brain who has common sense, they, 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 they see why this is a problem. And if this keeps going, guys, we're going to lose our country based off of division based on race blacks sticking with blacks only white sticking with whites only it's going to be segregation all over again and the left they want that because they realize that's how they can control people through tribalism you know what i mean so uh, i could be wrong about this guy i don't think i am let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below like this video as always share this video and subscribe to my channel for more content